<laughs> There's my men. My handsome husband, Mark. Yeah, I know some people wouldn't call him that, but that's what I call him. There's Remy running up in front. And if I can find him, there's Sam. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to film and walk at the same time. I'm not that coordinated. <laughs> this is Indian Lake Park. This is a trail that we usually come to. So we thought we'd try and get a small video here. Nice big open field. Had to distract that. <laughs> well, Sam decided he had to kind of do his business. I was trying to film him, but... Well, they deserve a little bit of privacy, don't they? <laughs> hey, buddy. Say hi. <laughs> well, this is just outing number one of two this week for walking the dogs. If the weather remains nice, we will take them out again tomorrow. And then this weekend, hopefully it'll be nice enough to where we can film. We are going to a town called Bloomfield, where they have a Midwestern Pickers Market. And we're going to be meeting little house characters again. And along with some new ones that we haven't met yet. So hopefully it'll remain nice and we can get a small video there and... Hopefully we'll go live and do some soda tasting again, because I plan on getting some bottles of funky flavored sodas. Like, what is one of them? They got like sweet corn and all odd types of flavors and what? on soda pops. Oh yeah. I'll, I'll... They got like sweet corn flavored dill pickle. We tried banana bread. Yeah. So, we're going to try and find some other odd flavors, and we're going to film the store where we buy those, so we should have a few little odds and ends of videos yeah. coming this coming weekend, so. Remy, come on. Right now, I'm basically just filming the, the scenery. The dogs are just off sniffing and getting ready to do their business so I don't really want to focus too much on them. <laughs> if I can get them in the video then there they are. Sammy and Remy sniffing out places to go. They like walking in the tall grass which I like too because then I don't have to clean up after them. But yes, I do follow the law folks. If I If it is where People walk, I do clean. I know there's a lot of people out there that say, Oh what? It'll just go back into the ground, who cares? <laughs> well if it's like a like this path, if they go right here on the trail, I clean it. But if it's off in the tall grass, I'm not gonna worry about it. No. Cause for one thing, why would you have to walk that far over? Yeah, exactly. Now since it's been a while I know in one of the last videos I made from out here, there used to be a tree right there. Yeah. But they've since cut it down and now it's a stump. Uh -oh. <laughs> Remy loves climbing on it once in a while too. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Hi. Hey, buddy. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there's Remy. He's saying hi. Remy says hi. Remy says goodbye. <laughs> uh, 
and they still have some really nice trees out here, but time gets away from things and they have to knock a few down. So. Yeah, you can see so much from this park. Yeah. A while back we had, what was it, pelicans on the water. Yes. That There was a whole big flock of pelicans, and, which now you can't even hardly make out the water because of the tree line. Because yeah, the trees are starting to bloom and bud. And, yep. But sometime maybe we'll get down closer to the water's edge and take a video of that way. But right now we're just on the trail. And yes, I got a little shadow behind me because our dog Remy taught himself how to heal. Which basically means he stays right at your feet. There's Mark and Sam. Hey, buddy. No, I'm j I just want to touch on something right now while I'm in the kind of like the shade. The last couple days have been rough with something that I posted in our community tab on YouTube. And I just want people to know we're not forcing anyone to help us with anything. All we're doing is asking. And there's people out there that we know that are in a way forcing people, help me get a house. I'm not filming him. <laughs> Our one's doing his business. But there's one that we watch on YouTube who had no choice but to find a new home. And his videos are, it's him and his dogs travel. And he's basically whining and crying how... Oh, I have to have a new house. I have to have a new place. So people feel sorry for him having to move. So they send him money. All we're doing is asking for help to get a place so that we can get a business going to help others in need. We're not forcing anybody. And if people actually read my GoFundMe, it clearly states that if anybody donates... We will write down your name, we will contact you when we have money, and we will pay you back. We don't want just for ourselves. We want to give back to people in need, because people have helped us in the past, and that's what we want to do. But all of you people on YouTube that make money, you're doing it for selfish reasons. Nobody hired you to make these videos. You chose to go out and spend the money on high-tech equipment to make all these fancy videos and then you sit there and you whine well if you want to see more videos you have to send me money no I'm sorry that's wrong nobody needs to send you money just to make videos that's your choice no one else's and as for somebody saying that we're doing this out of pity that oh okay I've got a bumblebee buzzing Okay, um, I am like at a standstill right now. There is a bumblebee buzzing around me. But when it comes to pity, there was a YouTuber. She's a foodie. She lives in New Zealand. Her name is Nella. And she was doing the pity routine. She broke her elbow a while back. And even though it did not affect her hand at all, she was like, oh, I've got such a handicap on doing these food challenges because I broke my elbow. And that basically was whining and crying, send me more money if you want to see me making more videos. Well, if you're going to complain like that, then you shouldn't even be making videos while you have a broken elbow. I mean, she had two hands. She was still perfectly capable of using them. And yet she was whining and crying about having a broken bone. She kept throwing that out there like, oh, I broke my elbow. Oh, my arm is broken. I'm in a cast. I'm whining, crying, belly ache all the time. Now that's going for pity. Basically whining and crying about needing a new home and asking people to send you money to help you. Or you have a broken bone and stuff. That's pity. What we are doing is not pity. So do not accuse us of that. But for now, I'm just going to give up on it. If you guys want to see content, like, subscribe, comment, whatever. 
I'm done with all this of trying to do things in life that are actually jobs. Because apparently all of you on YouTube, you think YouTube is the only way to have a job. You don't think about doctors, nurses, police officers, school teachers, firefighters, or anything like that as being jobs. Chefs, restaurant owners, whatever. You don't think of that. You think that you are the only ones that can make money. So, like I said, I'm done. If you want us to continue, then just like our videos, I'll stop with the posting of anything and let Mark do all the work on the channel. But I'm going to have to put the video on finish here in a little bit as I'm going to stop walking here in a little bit. I never walked the whole thing. Mark and Sam and Remy are way down there. And that leads to the main trail. Say hi, boys. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video now. Wave goodbye. And see you hopefully this weekend.